Good morning, it's Rosalie with Can't Wait to Plan. How you guys doing? Okay, I'm so excited. As I mentioned in the um, description box below, I have been exercising all my willpower to try to get not purchase any minty, minty collections. And I, um, when I saw the uh, Merry Little Christmas, their Christmas collection this year, I'm like, okay, I'm done. But by the time I get around to try to buy it, every store was out of stock. So I finally, finally found it. And while I was in the search for that, I couldn't help myself, but uh, I couldn't help but get myself a few more Minte collections. So I'm gonna show you first in detail the three newest collection from them. Chocolate Kiss is actually not a new one, a newest one. It came out for things. I mean, for Valentine's Day. So it, came, it I think it was introduced in um, January of 2000 of this year, or maybe even the end of last year. But I'm still gonna show it to you because I love it so much. And some some of you may not have seen it, but the two newest collection just introduced literally like. The, a few a week or two ago and it is LOD um it's French I think it's somebody's name LOD um but the way it's spelled and everything else I can tell it's French it kind of like melody but with an IE at the end but without the M in the front as well and that's I think based on at least what it looks like it seems like they introduced that um, for Mother's Day or some things you may would like to make for your mom. And then Garage is introduced, I'm sure, because Father's Day is coming up as well. Um, <clears throat> but in case, you know, Mother's Day is right now, um, like coming up really soon, I think it's in the beginning of March for people in the UK. I don't know about the rest of the European um, community, but you know, that's probably why it was introduced a little bit earlier too than... Um, than like, you know, more like when our Mother's Day is, which is in May. All right. So I hope you guys all had a great week um, and getting ready for new ones. But here it goes. Okay. So Chocolate Kiss. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. So, so much. This beautiful um, collection. I got, this is the back of the front cover. They always do that which I really do not like um, because I like to keep the front. It has all the paper and everything, you know, at a, at a glance. Um, <clears throat> in any case, these are not um, die cut already for you. So it's all fussy cut situation. And um, so I'm going to try to see it. Oh, actually, you know, this, uh, yeah, with this collection, did I get an extra page? No, I didn't. So I need to go find somebody who sell the paper uh, separately so I can get an extra one of this. Now, these Minte collection, I found two Etsy shop that I actually love to get Minte collection from. Um, and the first one, this one came from ASC, um, ASC Supplies. Basically, it's, uh, yeah, ASC Supplies. I don't know what the ASC stand for. They actually have a website as well. Um, and um, and then the other one, the other Etsy shop that I really like is Artisan Boutique by TPA. And Tamara is really sweet there. And I believe um, ASC Supplies have a YouTube um, channel and everything. Crystal Chambers is the uh, proprietor for that. Um, so the ASC gives you 10% discount if you sign up to their email, but they always usually have the coupon code, also, the coupon also in their, in, in their Etsy shop. Um, the, what do you call it? They, they price their newer collection, like around fourteen seventy five, And when it gets a few, um, a, a few months later, like, um, you know, whatever I'll, I'll share with you in a second, it's, price down list price to like twelve fifty. So this was a newer collection. So it was sub fourteen seventy five with my ten percent discount. I actually only pay thirteen forty five for this, which is awesome because as you know, Minte um collection went up in price. If you check regular retail shop like the Cherry on Top or Frank Garcia's, they're all um at sixteen 
50. They're all priced at $16.49 um, for the 12 by 12 collection. So this is quite a, you save like $3, which is awesome. And she gives free shipping after your order reach, I think, I think uh, $75 or something like that. So not bad at all. Um, so beautiful, but I need to get an extra number, pa paper number nine. And this is the first they, they just named their paper one, two, three, four, five, six. And then nine is the one with the um, die cut stuff. Isn't that stunning? I don't, I love sweet. I don't bake or anything like that, but still. And this is the, the back of it. Beautiful polka dot. It's beautiful lace detail here. And all the beautiful sweets stand in front. This is an, an easy layout scrapbook layout to do here you have a and then look at all these chocolate bar awesome very easy to use same thing here even though these are so gorgeous you have this beautiful tray of sweets and the three-tier tray here too so stunning and the heart now this one i'm not crazy about this one is okay this is not going to be easy to use per se the back is really nice and simple so that's nice this flowers are beautiful has nothing to do with sweets but i guess you run out of stuff to to write but it goes with the in line with valentine's and giving flowers and things then we got a stripe and these are their three by fours which is really um nice you can always fussy cut through the image to use as die cuts like these you know so that that makes it easier and beautiful and then on the back the, oh sorry i move it up so you can see but then i forgot to scroll it up there we go and then the back is just a simple they replace it with pattern or whatever so in case you don't want to use those images and then this is page oh now then it go back to page number one okay so you get two of each and that's just perfect now i did try a new this is a new introduction for them they start to have this maybe about five months ago a six by eight add-on paper pack um so it's different than the six by six paper pack which is basically a miniature version of the 12 by 12 um which is great but most of my card making i don't make a lot of four by six four by the a2 size card i don't make a lot of six by six cards um and i want more flexibility than that so therefore i'd never picked up the six by six paper pad i guess you can always use them in scrapbooking but anyway um with the smaller design i always think that you know six by six paper pad is more for card making and those size i wish everybody makes their smaller paper pad six by eight because the you know with the reduction in the print but six by eight gives you so many choice you can do five by seven card you can do any of the smaller size card you can do even six by eight card which i understand a lot of europe tend to do larger size card that works for them too so anyway these are different paper so i'm super glad to see that this one was um so basically i'm giving you the price i paid which is uh, nine dollars for this so basically it was list price is ten dollars at asc supplies i don't i can't remember what's the list price for this is but check a chair on top for instance and you'll know it's um i think it's like an, at least a dollar or two more okay so you get and so in the back of the front cover you even have chocolate sweets here and that's the so you get i'm sure you get several there's how many piece of paper here Mm, 20 uh, three sheets of eight designs okay so this is the front this is the back look at how pretty the the uh, music notes so it's a it's the color scheme goes with your collection but it's less themed than the collection i love this pink um paper that doesn't seem like it's scaled down <laughs> at all it's huge and then that's the, in the collection. This is a different polka dot. It's another polka dot paper. Gingham, some lace, some beautiful lace. Back of that is this chocolate, different color scheme than in the main collection. I love this paper. That one is super cute. 
the gingham. I don't care for the gingham too much because to me, gingham doesn't scream Valentine. I love that. That's pretty. And the back is that. See, they didn't scale this down too much, those three by four cards. I love this because basically you can cut it out some more. Let me check to see if the design is very similar. You get the same design. Truly, you get the only one that you didn't, that wasn't on here, that's on here is this one. Okay, which I like that. And in this one, you get this. Okay, that chocolate you have. This, do we have this in the on the paper? So this is different. This is not in the cutout here. The strawberry, do we have the strawberry? <clears throat> we also don't have the strawberry. We have... The macaroon so actually most of these is all different which is really nice i like that so much and then the back of it is a stripe and this the same i think most all of these are different except for this is in here yeah but everything everything else but it doesn't have the bow everything else is different which is really nice and it's a little bit bigger in size too which is really nice as well and then you um you go back and then let's see if the back the back is still the same nope the back has the back cover has a different background paper than um the front so i really like that because i stopped buying so uh, minte went up on the embellishment um their list price now from all the regular retail shop for the um, die cut paper embellishment is like $9, $8.95, which I think is super high for what you get. Um, and I did this before. I didn't buy it for the collection anymore because I found that it wasn't worth the value, especially now that it went up to $9. Um, it's because they basically gave you the same embellishment here which you can cut now if you hate fussy cutting then i would say get that but i don't know that i would be wanting that in and, and sometime like in in a couple of the um die cuts i got ephemera pack that i got from mama mama Razzi and city of love and so on they would give you the same one in a couple of different size and i just didn't think it was worth the price so um and they're all the same as as this you know so just in different size or whatever so what i normally do as i think i might have mentioned it in the past i scan this paper in and um, i don't have a 12 by 12 scanner so i scan it in portion and then i blow it up or i wait until i fussy cut everything out and then i line it up in the, the you know to fit the the scanner um, my scanner size and then I blow it up if I need them at different size and then print it on my printer. So anyway, that's the reason I stopped buying the um, the ephemera. It's just so expensive now and it just doesn't give me really anything extra. Down the line, I may have to try play with it again just in case they change their thing. But I looked at the content of the pack and it was it was very similar. So this one is called LOD. That's the, the one I mentioned that I think it's for um, moms and, you know, Mother's Day type thing. It's there in spring. It's a very soft color, but it definitely highlight a woman in there. So, you know, not just spring with flowers and things, but um, spring with a woman inside. So therefore, that's what I thought. It had something to do with Mother's Day. You see, mother's holding a beautiful bouquet or a lady holding a beautiful bouquet of flowers. You have a beautiful flower cart here, beautiful wreath, cute little fabric hearts, and, you know, mom riding bicycle. <laughs> That's not a mom. <laughs> so, so pretty. And um, so on, gorgeous. And, you know, spring with the birds and the the gate the house gate and so forth stunning so again you get two piece of paper for the uh two piece of each design so this have the beautiful birdhouse on the top and look at her standing at the the um flower cart beautiful and that's the back get this beautiful door oh my gosh stunning see what you can do for scrapbooking is you can cut the door 
like uh, just cut here so that it opens but it doesn't don't cut here just take a exacto knife maybe that's what i could do cut here have it open and then have a photo of yourself or whoever inside the house peeking out so that way when you open this you can see is that would that be fun oh, i love this ship love gorgeous and then here famous beautiful mama again see it's got to be french because that's nobody in the u.s ride bicycle in a dress like this <laughs> right it'd be in spanks or spandex leggings or whatever and then some more beautiful bird houses here and you got the same pattern in blue and i don't love this one but the back is nice i love i love clouds paper i think that's so pretty you know if you make a beautiful little hot air balloon design here and then here's some more gorgeous flowers now the flowers kind of like a peachy a, a pinkish coral a, a peachy a pinkish peach so it's not pink and then here's some lace some old lace in blue and here's the last paper with that same three by four pocket card or whatever you call them and so on and then the back is just regular pattern if you don't want to use the images okay but who wouldn't it's so pretty okay and i did not so you get you repeat you get the next one i did not get the the accompany pack because i didn't see anything there that was so that i must have um and i have plenty of paper that is in that similar color scheme for add-on paper so i didn't i didn't get that i love this again i didn't um get the the i do want the extra paper number nine which is the the die cut ephemera paper but um this particular store had it but she priced it a little bit higher than where i know i can get it um so anyway so um this is garage and it's definitely a, a father's day or manly collection um i again did not get the six by eight because i have plenty of background paper for stuff like this um, but I do need to get the paper number nine. Okay, so here isn't that stunning? I'm so glad they made these men's accessories or whatever you call them, ephemera bigger. So you know, because a lot of time you have stuff like this, and Minte even have a little six by eight book that focus on men, and all these stuff was just tiny. So I love that. I'm gonna get an extra sheet of that. Love this. It look like a look just like a garage with a um old fart garage <laughs> that's so cute american hot rod got a guitar all this stuff my husband doesn't do <laughs> but oh well even got an old phone oh my lord that's so cute i love this so much <laughs> love that but i do have stuff that are similar and then look at that paper with the, some old pipe I love it. Love, 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 love. Love, love, love. The steel floor, a little bit of rust going on there. I know um, this is just scream Tim Holtz, right? Even got an old meter, you know, the uh, parking meters and stuff. I don't know where he stole this, this gentleman. I don't know where he stole all that from. And then some denim. And then this is like, oh, wouldn't this be a nice cupboard for us crafters to use? It can be a cupboard or a tray. You see? Oh my God, so beautiful. I need that. And then some old pipe. That's like stunning. And then you got some gingham here. And then some old black jeans that are ripped at the seam. And then this is their three by four. Some old time TV, I mean, uh, radios and the luggage, so pretty. And then there's some background paper here, and then it repeats. But that's all I, I need to get is just some more of paper number nine, just one more, and I'm set because I don't want to cut this paper out. So I just pay uh, the normal list price for the paper number nine is a dollar fifty. I know Frank Garcia charged a dollar fifty. A cherry on top is a dollar sixty nine now, and most of the um, Etsy shop that sell minted products sell the individual paper for two twenty five to two fifty. So, 
I always try to, whenever I place orders for Frank Garcia for some of their other stuff, that's when I get my, my um, Minte paper number nine. Hopefully they don't sell out by then. Okay, so those are the three newest collection. Now I'm going to go um, back into alphabetical order. You notice I go in alphabetical order. That's just my thing. Um, now these are a slightly older collection, but not really that old. I think this came came out in um, August of last year, and it's called Blissful Time. It's beautiful. And, oh, I'm sorry. Um, Elodie and Gara uh, Elodie I, I bought from the Etsy shop um, Artisan Boutique, and it's $14.85. She also... Uh, she also provide 10% discount, but that's the discount price. Garage, garage I got from ASC, and um, the price I pay is $13.50, so that was really good. Blissful Time, I got from ASC Supplies, and because it is an older collection, they I only pay $11.25 by the time you add my 10% monthly discount. I mean, the discount that the shop gives. They give a new code every month for their discount. So this is gorgeous. I actually already, I think I already bought a paper number nine from Frank Garcia last time I placed an order at his shop. And, oh, here, so sorry. I meant to bring it up closer. You can see these die cut. And so this is kind of like a late summer collection, I think. You know, where you, you have, you start to have the colors moving towards fall and but you still have things like the swing chairs that's just so pretty i love that that's a beautiful burgundy color then you see you still have a lot of like almost like a sunset um color right it's beautiful still have flowers and another sky um paper and here's some more of beautiful gorgeousness and this one got the what do you call that the hem up there and I don't know what this is what is that like is that wood pattern no not wood look like a roof um, and then here you have this beautiful flowers in the middle of this kind of all old peeling um, wood that's really such a beautiful contrast of design you get the same kind of peachy flowers with the hint of the wood in the... I love this. Oh my God, so much. Love that. Just give me a bunch of that paper. Um, and then here's the 3x4. Gorgeous. And then the back, that gives you these cute little frames. I think they, they should continue to do that. In the newer collection, they give you just background paper, but in older collection, they give you the frame, which I, I prefer. I think, you know, these are good size frame that you can add, use it for photos and things. Background alone, I can just cut my own background paper, you know, I don't need that. And then it repeats, okay? So for that, I um, did not get anything extra for it. Um, originally, when I saw this, I wasn't, I didn't think I was crazy about it, but I looked at it again. And I really like it. I got this from ASC again also for $11.25. And it is um, kind of like, I don't know what collection type it is, but it's very vibrant with the colors. It's beautiful. It's got gorgeous flowers. Maybe the beginning of summer where all the plants are getting alive again. So you get fruits, you get beautiful, just beautiful imagery. Stunning, right? Here's the look of it. And then in the back is this nice wash with with some images. I actually really like this wreath. Gorgeous. Right? And there it is in full. And then just the back is just green. Here's some books. I like the the use of this um, magnifying glass all, all throughout the collection. So you got the kitchen with the kitchen scales, and then this, the iron something or another. And then you got, you introduce some black in here, which is really pretty. See, the scale of this is perfect for a card. And then the uh, back. Then here, these are good actually to cut apart if you want more floral embellishment if you need more floral embellishment again this back one is a nice size print to use for a uh, card 
or even, you know, a scrapbook page too. And then the three by four project cards. I'm going a little bit slower because as I was going back through some of my flip through videos, I saw that, and then that's the, uh, then a duplicate. I saw that I tend to rush through things a lot with, with these paper collection and things because I was concerned that it was taking so long, but you know, I need to show it, you know, so that in case you guys want to get it, okay? Um, okay, anyway, this is called Grandma's Attic, and this was introduced in the fall of um, 2022, and I got this from Artisan Boutique um, for $11.90, so it was really good price. Beautiful colors of that. I love this. I have an older collection of... Um, I love these images. Oh my God, and the blue color is so pretty. It's kind of like a aqua teal, whatever you call that color. It's just stunning. Um, they introduced something, I can't remember the name of it, but the color, the coloring and the theme is very similar to this. I have to look it up and, um, and maybe even use them together. I love these old vintage birch cage. Even look at that, the door knockers and some old style um, newspaper and some more bird cages and so on and i give you a nice far away shot for the whole paper and then some buttony thing grandma's attic i wish we have an attic that looked like this huh beautiful doors and that's the background is paper number four Again, the print size is quite nice for, and then you have a bunch of old tags that you could easily fussy cut out if you want to use that in your collection. And I love this paper. Look at these gorgeous teal flowers or aqua flowers or mint or whatever. What's the color called? Somebody know? Somebody think they know? Please tell me. This is paper number five. And look at these tickets, just a bunch of tickets. And then here's the 3x4 project cards. Gorgeous images, man. Oh, look at that light bulb. They make it look so sexy. And see now, here's you still get all these nice frame. I love it. Love, 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 love. See, on this one, I could get two frame. All of these, I can get two frame out of. I can get this one. If I take this out in the middle, then that's two. And then I use that as, as is or cut this out and use that as a tag or something. So I can get three things out of this versus just the one thing from what they do now um, for a couple of the new collection that you just saw, which is just pattern paper in the back. Please, Minte, bring back the frame in the back of paper six. Okay, I've been looking at this. This came out in the spring of last year. And I wanted to get it so badly because, as I mentioned, my daughter loves purple, and so do I. And lavender is just my favorite purple shade. And I I didn't because I was trying to be good. Um, but now that it is, I found it again. I, everybody was sold out in this too. So this was available from a ASC Supplies for eleven twenty five. I also picked up the 6x8 for seven fifty, which is like awesome. And I did pick up an extra uh, paper nine already, the die cut page, so I don't need to get that. I think I even already fussy cut it. I love that, that cute little flower cart. Everything here is just stunning. Love it. Look at this gorgeous um, bucket of wildflowers. Okay, so then you get, so I already sort these through, get this beautiful, Images in the top. And then look at that beautiful gate of this house walking into like a stunning field of purple flowers. This is the back, just abstract of really nothing. And this this wreath or the window, the window looking out into this beautiful field of lavenders, flowers. Oh, it's a lavender farm, that's why. And look at this. It's, I have not, not seen one with the wood peeling wood in this shade of color. I love this so much. So, so much. 
see. Then here's the backyard, again, looking out to the beautiful lavender fields. Oh my gosh, so stunning. Here's the wood. Here's a beautiful window. Looking out to the field of beautiful lavenders. Oh, and all these doors. Gorgeous. I love that shade of blue, whatever color you call that. It is stunning. And this too. Ah, I'm getting a little bit lighting, this uh, lighting from the window here. Sorry about that. So let me move it up a little bit. And here's the three by four. And then you got these frame. Beautiful, right? Okay. So here's that new six by eight pad that they started. Oh, so they, they started it at the um, middle of last year already. So there's 745. There's that beautiful back of the front cover. The back cover. The back of the front cover is this gorgeousness right here. Okay. So you get three sheets of each paper and you get eight papers. So that's the front and that's the back, some gingham. This is interesting looking, just like, you know, in, uh, what do you call villages, houses in the hill, sort of speak. And then some beautiful, so everything is fuzzy in this um, add-on pad. Kind of almost make it look like a painting of sort. I'm gonna, okay, then you got some beautiful old letters written in purple ink. Nice, right? Some, uh, and then this in that beautiful shade of blue and some more bluish purple and some lavenders. Gorgeousness. And then some windows. And I mean, this is a door, a window, something. And then you get some more cut apart. Stunning cut apart. Look at that beautiful house. See, in the other, and I love that because in this one, it gives you some nice big embellishment to, to use. In the back of that is these purple doors and then some more embell different than the, see, now I have to like buy this pack just to get the different embellishment because they don't show, you, you can't really see this page. They, I don't think they show individual page. And um, they do that on this this uh, size, but in this one they don't show the individual page, so you don't really know what you get unless you go to the to the store and flip it through yourself. Um, if you have any stores close by to you, uh, Frank Garcia is at least an hour and a half to two hours from me, so that's why I rarely um, get to his store. I do everything online, but once in a while I do go to the store. Okay, so this is the crazy cuteness that started the whole thing uh, my search for this collection online um it's merry little christmas it is absolutely stunning i love it so much and um even though i couldn't find it anywhere when i finally found it at um at um uh, artisan boutique she gave it to me for 1080 and she even gave me an extra pa paper, an extra number nine paper to the die cut paper um, because I don't, she didn't have the cover for it. These were just, she have individual paper left and therefore I didn't get the cover, which is fine. Um, but I'm so grateful. Thank you so much, Tamara, for your patience and working with me on that. So I basically got two sheets for every paper, but I just don't have the cover sheets, the, the collection kit cover. So this is just to look, far away i'm going to show you the, the in close up isn't that gorgeous i love this pink car see i want that pink i want a car that's pink i tell you before i die i'm going to buy a, i'm going to buy a car and paint it pink and this is beautiful snowflake and then you have a gorgeous fireplace all decked out in gingerbread house gingerbread boys all these amazing um, decoration. This page, sorry. Sorry, not sorry, not lovely. Um, and look at this red truck imagery. So you got some beautiful, just stunning Christmas decoration on that 
wild pine tree and then this gorgeous red truck oh my gosh look at all the presents that's they're ready to give and then the sweater in the back and you have this also stunning stunning wreath very um understated but just absolutely gorgeous and then that which eh, i'm glad they don't give us anything fancy and have us fight over which side of the paper to use so obviously all of these i'm using the front side and i love this 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 poinsettia just lightly color not too too red and then just fleckle with some snow all over and then the snow and then the last paper is the four by two by three by four just so cute look at that sweet little deer hi joyce there's your deer there's your deer hi karen if you're watching bex nice to nice to see you rebecca is from the uk and she always watch and comment thanks so much cynthia hudson if you're watching hi sweetheart and who else oh my god cha 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 kathy kathy i got a review and say hi to each of you every time to some of you every time i uh, record i love that look at that little house there stunning and this is probably the last collection that they did the frame because i did not see that in the three collection that came this year and then my paper number nine and the extra one beautiful the nice thing about if you buy the extra paper the the die cut paper it is a little bit higher it's normally two dollars is the list price and some of the etsy store charge more for that but it does have a back so in the back it has this but a lot of them is much nicer than just a sweater but it does it doesn't have the the front cover so therefore they do give you a, a back isn't that stunning and then here's the three six by eight paper this one was um 1080 you see so normally i think these were list price at 11 dollars. 10 10 uh, 20 was what i pay also from tf t um artisan boutique so here's the back of the front cover here's the back of the back cover is the same now this time here's that one that's we have that in the other one we have that in the other one now this is different really pretty you get eight design, three of each in the six by eight. I can't wait to get to the, I love that. This one is that beautiful poinsettia paper, but they they put some stripes and stuff on it behind it. This is what I'm waiting for. Nice, right? Super stunning. The back of that is just some writing. And then here is the second piece of die cut paper. And the back of that is that. And then they repeat. Okay. Awesomeness. And then I saw this collection. She had a bunch of separate paper um, available. And I was able to make up almost the whole collection. And it wasn't, you know, it wasn't too bad. I just the the back of it i didn't love so i just got the six sheets she didn't have seven sheets available um so i bought six sheets and they were ten dollars because this is an old collection that came out in 2018 called wonderless and i just fell in love with that bus camper whatever you call it so it's about traveling obviously and here's the image up close this is paper number one so sweet right and see the back is nothing so i didn't think that i need to and oh no this one oh these i got two i don't know why okay i think because i don't know why but anyway um some of them i got two like this one i got two so pretty now that we got the vw bus in blue 
and then that's the back. Oh, I know. I, I didn't get, I didn't need to get four because I didn't love the back paper. Some of these I may want to down the line get two more paper for so I can use the back. But these I just need the front. That's why I got two. And then this is beautiful travel paper. I mean travel theme again. Gorgeous. Even got an airplane in there. And this is nice in the back. Then that's, this is paper number four. She had all the paper, but I don't think she had the die cut paper. So I have to get find that somewhere. And then this is really pretty. I love that. I probably will use that page instead of the, the front one. And then it's paper number five. Again, cute. And then paper number six has all those three by four cut apart. Wonderless. Beautiful. You can I can cut some of these out for ephemera, but I definitely need to find paper number nine from this collection. So after I actually found out the name of this, because I never even heard of it before, since it was before the time I started scrapbooking again, I found it at the full collection um, from um, a Frank 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 Frantic Stamper for sixteen eighty. So it does have paper number nine, but I have to find out if she has, if they have any paper number nine separately. Okay, so that was my minty haul. I hope you enjoy it. I know it's like usual, all my um, crafty hauls a little bit longer, but I do try to show it in details of what you can get. So that way you know for sure um, if you really want it and uh, then go online and search for the best price one. Or if you ask me, then I can, I can let you know. Okay, but um, I... I, I do love to research stuff like this. So um, anyway, I haven't, I've even gone back and added old collections from company that I love just to see how their um, design uh, history progress. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I'm such a wacko. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great time. Please like, share, and subscribe um, to my channel if you like this content. And um, otherwise, I hope you I hope you have a wonderful week and uh, take care and come back real soon. All right. Bye.